Hello, what is up guys? Thanks for checking back TechPH. This is another quick video tutorial and this time I'd like to help you out in how you can convert your .ogg zip vorbis files into .aac or aac format file. First up is launch your Adobe Audition and it's going to take you to its default page right here. To a point it's going to take you to waveform or multi-track. Just click back on waveform view right here. And it's going to ask you to input things like that, sample rate, channels, and bit depth. You do not want to input anything yet on these parameters because when you load up your file or your music file in there, then it's going to follow the details that you did use. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do first is cancel out and just leave it on its default page. Go look up for the file that you're going to convert from .ogg, which is right now on a .ogg extension file format to a point that you cannot see that go to view and you have something that says file name extensions you can check and uncheck notice that if i uncheck that i do not get any extension type if i check that back and i get something that says dot o g g so from here what you do is click hold and drag over onto your audition click basically anywhere on that waveform control a so you can highlight everything right click over and then find something that says save selection as or you could also go to file save as and save selection as all in there and also you could do shortcut control shift and s or control alt and s what i'm used to doing every time is right clicking over save selection as then notice the file type it's still dot ogg if you want to verify that what we have is .ogg right here and also .ogg right here. So again, what we simply want to do is convert that zip.ogg file into AAC file. So from format, click on that and look up for mpeg2-aac. It's got a file extension .aac. Then notice on the extension right here, it's now changed from OGG, it would now become AAC. Uh, you do want to change anything on the sample type and the bitrate. In case you'd want to understand and know more about sample types and bitrates, refer back to the list of the videos that we have on our channel. You can make changes on the file name. 4400 hertz, two channels, 32 bit. I am big doubt it's going to encode that on that file type. I mean on that sample type. If I click on OK, it's going to say Windows Media Foundation format, blah, 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 does not support the current sample file type. So you want to convert that to 4400, 16-bit. Check back. It's saying 32-bit. Now it's asking you if you want to convert that into a 16-bit file. Again, what we're just going to be doing right now is simply convert from OGG to AAC. If you want to know more about sample types, check back on the reference videos that we have created on our YouTube channel. So I just want to say automatically convert that into a 16-bit type. Click on OK. It's going to save that up. Now, next thing you do is look up for the file and check if it's really been converted already to where you specified it to be saved at. And right now it says light the torch dot AAC. If I double click on that, check if it's playing. It would say Windows Media Player cannot play the file. It's not recognized right now, so what you want to do is use another player on that. I am pretty sure that it's going to play with VLC Media Player, so you go open with, look up for VLC Media Player, also QuickTime. Alright, so there you go. That's how you simply convert your .ogg file into a .aac file format. Again, for some of the video tutorials specific to Adobe Audition Creative Cloud, uh, you can check out the playlists that we have on our YouTube channel, TechPH. Please do subscribe and thanks much for watching.